Hi there, this is uh, Joseph with another QML tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn about uh, our first exposure uh, to QML, uh, exposing something to the engine at runtime that will not be destroyed during its process, and it will run the whole entire time that the application is run. This is achieved with something called QML context. Um, everything is inherent of Q object when exposing to QML, uh, kind of an important note right there. But um, to get started, let's uh, let's just start out here by saying uh, let's include QDebug. Let's include uh, QURL. Oops. Okay, cool. So inside of the GUI application class, there is something that we can use to set. Uh, and learn where our path is. Uh, what I mean by path is where the application is running from itself, right? So let, let's check that out. So we say Q URL, and then we say Q, uh, we're gonna give it a, uh, a variable. We're gonna call it app path, and we're gonna say Q string, and we will give it a argument. And now we're going to use that argument here with it. And that is simply just app application dir path, right? So we have that. So let's just QDebug that out. This is where the application awesome spelling Cation lips we'll give it a space and then we'll say app path right now let's uh, compile and run this and as you can see when we ran right here it has this it says this is where the qml application lives qurl opt cpp primer well in our we see we have a a an error here in our main, uh, let's just quit this application. In our main.qml, if we actually look at our main.qml, I have added it so that the uh, the text now is equal to app path, right? So we need to be able to expose this to uh, the engine of QML itself so that it can use this during runtime if we want to be able to use the variable that we had set in our main CPP. To do this, we import our or include, I should say, geez, our uh, QML, whoa, context right there, right? So now what we can do is we can say engine, which is what we have set right here, and we can say set, or we can say, I'm sorry, root context, right? And then we can say set contextual property, right? So we're going to set a property within it, right? So in order to do this, we have to give it a uh, we have to give it a name, right? So we're going to call it app path, and then we have to tell it where it's actually uh, what, what variable we're using, right? So app path, right? It's what we're using. Um, let's comment that out. And as long as I ran, as long as all this code is right, um, and we run it. When we look at our new thing, it tells us that it's under opt cpp qml pat one dash bin because we knew that we set that in our deployment.pri. So this is where all of our application is running from. And if we go over here to our main.qml and we actually put in this is where the app lives, we'll put a new line. And now let's save and run that. Oh, I forgot to put a plus symbol. There we go. Let's try that. It says this is where the app lives, op CPP QML primer. Again, this is only one way of exposing something, and this is always going to be exposed in our runtime now. Uh, whenever we're running, it's not going to be destroyed. Uh, which is something that's kind of important, but we'll get to that later on. But we did learn how we can take something 
from C++ itself and actually make it into a contextual property that we can use in QML. Now, before you start running and saying, okay, I'm going to make a bunch of these all of a sudden really quick, there are other ways of doing this that are a little bit more sustainable, and we're going to be getting into those, but I just really wanted to show a way of uh, connecting to the engine from C++ at runtime so that we can add things to the, uh, the context. Um, well, this is Joseph. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good one, and uh, I'll see you at the next one where we'll be discussing and adding more things to the root uh, context of the engine. Uh, have a good one, and uh, be nice to everyone.